In mathematics and especially differential geometry, a Kala manifold is a manifold with three mutually compatible structures, a complex structure, a Riemannian structure, and a symplectic structure. On a Kala man manifold X there exists Kala potential and the Levi Civita connection corresponding to the metric of X gives rise to a connection on the canonical line bundle. Smooth projective algebraic varieties are examples of Kala manifolds. By their embedding theorem, Kala manifolds that have a positive line bundle can always be embedded into projective spaces. They are named after German mathematician Erich Kala. Definitions since Kala manifolds are naturally equipped with several compatible structures, there are many equivalent ways of creating Kala forms. Symplectic viewpoint A Kala manifold is a symplectic manifold equipped with an integrable almost complex structure which is compatible with the symplectic form. Complex viewpoint A Kala manifold is a Hermitian manifold whose associated Hermitian form is closed. The closed Hermitian form is called the Kala metric. Equivalence of definitions Every Hermitian manifold is a complex manifold which comes naturally equipped with a Hermitian form and an integrable, almost complex structure. Assuming that is closed, there is a canonical symplectic form defined as which is compatible with, hence satisfying the first definition. On the other hand, any symplectic form compatible with an almost complex structure must be a complex differential form of type written in a coordinate chart as for the added assertions that be real valued, closed, and non-degenerate guarantee that the define Hermitian forms at each point in connection between Hermitian and symplectic definitions. Let be the Hermitian form, the symplectic form, and the almost complex structure. Since and are compatible, the new form is Riemannian. One may then summarize the connection between these structures via the identity. Kala potentials. If is a complex manifold, it can be shown that every strictly pluri subharmonic function gives rise to a Kala form as where are the Dolbo operators. The function is said to be a Kala potential. In fact, utilizing the holomorphic version of the Poincare lemma, a partial converse holds true locally. More specifically, if is a Kala manifold then about every point there is a neighborhood containing in a function such that in here is termed a Kala potential. Ricci tensor and Kala manifolds. See Kala manifolds in Ricci tensor. The Laplacians on Kala manifolds. On any Riemannian manifold we can define the Laplacian as where is the exterior derivative and with the Hodge operator. Furthermore, if X is Kala then and are decomposed as and we can define two other Laplacians that satisfy from these facts we obtain the Hodge. Decomposition where is R degree harmonic form and is P, Q, degree harmonic form on X. Namely, a differential form is harmonic if and only if each belong to the I, J degree harmonic form. Further, if X is compact then we obtain where is harmonic cohomology group. This means that if is a differential form with P, Q, degree there is only one element in P, Q, harmonic form due to Dolbo theorem. Let, called Hodge number, then we obtain the LHS of the first identity, BR, is RTH Betty number. The second identity comes from that since the Laplacian is a real operator and the third identity comes from set duality. Applications on a Kala manifold, the associated Kala form and metric are called Kala Einstein if its Ricci tensor is proportional to the metric tensor. For some constant lambda, this name is a reminder of Einstein's considerations about the cosmological constant. See the article on Einstein manifolds for more details. Originally the Kala condition is independent on the Einstein condition in which Ricci tensor is proportional to Riemannian metric with constant real number. The important point is that if X is Kala then Christoffel symbols vanish and Ricci curvature is much simplified. The Kala condition, therefore, is closely related with Ricci curvature. In fact Yeo proved the Calabi conjecture using the fact that on a compact Kala manifold with the first Chern class C1 equals 0 there is a unique 
Ritchie flat Carla metric in each Carla class. But in non-compact case the situation turns to be more complicated and the final solution might not be reached. Examples. Complex Euclidean space CN with the standard Hermitian metric is a Carla manifold. A torus CN, lambda inherits a flat metric from the Euclidean metric on CN, and is therefore a compact Carla manifold. Every Riemannian metric on a Riemann surface is Carla, since the condition for omega to be closed is trivial in two dimensions. Complex projective space CPN admits a homogeneous Carla metric, the Fubini study metric. An Hermitian form in CN plus 1 defines a unitary subgroup U in GL. A Fubini study metric is determined up to HOMO the T by invariance under such a U action. By elementary linear algebra, any two Fubini study metrics are isometric under a projective automorphism of CPN. So it is common to speak of the Fubini study metric. The induced metric on a complex submanifold of a Kala manifold is Kala. In particular, any Stein manifold or projective algebraic variety is of Kala type. This is fundamental to their analytic theory. The unit complex ball BN admits a Kala metric called the Bergman metric which has constant holomorphic sectional curvature. Every K3 surface is Kala. An important subclass of Kala manifolds are Kala-Bio manifolds.